dancing on ice. But he's done just that and is even in the running for the skating crown. Please welcome Kieran Bracken. Spiral spin and jump oh, as you came I know, in there. I know. Do those do those eyes that you do? The, oh, the puppy, puppy dog, dog eyes. Puppy dog eyes. Duncan well, this is a Duncan eye, eyes. Yeah. yeah. So, well, you just oh. you, you put them in like that. Oh. No, I'm not there yet. Wait. Oh. <laughs> and then you just look up like that. Sorry. Work. Yeah, no. well, that's it, not easy to do when you're not skating. My wife. Yeah. Hasn't my wife yet, but, uh, <laughs> Listen, Dancing on Ice, you're doing really, really thank well. Thank you very much. I think you're one I'm of the judges. For, are you really? I'm absolutely loving it. What I mean, did you think when they first asked you to do it? I, thought, I just thought that would be so much fun. And being a professional sportsman, you're not allowed to do dangerous sports. You're not mm. allowed to ski. You're not allowed oh, really? to ride horses or anything. And then I just finished and he said, would you like to skate? And I thought... Fantastic. I'm going to get so much ribbing from all my friends, I which bet. I have done. I had about 80 texts. Had you ever been on an ice rink before? Well, I think when I was about eight or nine, going around checking out girls, I had a, a couple of skates. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, you should have said, I think I was one of the worst when I first got on the ice. But it was, uh, it's been fantastic. A massive journey because uh, you're training two, three hours a day for at least <clears> two months. And then after that... Before the show goes on before air. The, uh, well before the show goes on air. And then you train with your professional partner and you go to about four hours a day, and now it's gone up to five hours a day because you're learning your routine for the weekend. So it's, it's really hard work. Lost a bit of weight, which I was going nice. to say, yeah. And how... Well, I wasn't going to say because I didn't think you were fat before, <laughs> but anyway, no <laughs> But how, how are you coping with nerves? Because I know in your rugby career you said that you did sometimes suffer from nerves and yeah. anxiety and projecting all these worries yeah. and everything. Because one of the things that we've talked about, if, if, if we were ever to do one of those shows, yeah. is, is, is the nerves of putting yourself through that every Saturday. How are you controlling that? Well, I'm lucky because I think in sport it's all about, you know, rising to the occasion and from my point of view, playing international rugby. Goodness me. Well, uh, and I was very good at rising to the occasion <laughs> on <laughs> No, but I, I did struggle with nerves throughout my career. And the older I got, the older I got, the more I realised it's just a fear of failure. And so I think for the first show... <laughs> talk about... And, um, and for so that. the first show, I just thought to myself, I thought, right, if I fall here and don't do very well, so what, I've given it my best shot. And that's how I deal with it. But some of the others, I think Eureka was a great skater, but she was so nervous before. Little Stephen was mm. nervous as well, wasn't he? Little oh, oh Stephen my goodness. He's got these calms. He does oh. his tapping. He does all so of his tapping and stuff. <laughs> And he does, he takes all these tablets and, and the Aww. rescue remedies and everything. And he, bless him, he can't skate, but he... <laughs> but I have to say, have to I have to say, he was the best dancer by a mile. And behind the scenes, he was just the soul of everyone. Yeah. And we're just... He's a lovely to, person, I nearly, I'm a rugby player. I, I very nearly cried on TV. I was holding him back. Don't cry. Don't cry. Aww. Don't cry. Oh, you'd get a ribbon and, for that. And he went around with his... Roses, okay. his bouquet of roses. Anyway, he's gone now, on to He's you. gone now. Yeah. <laughs> Who's my mate? Yeah, yeah. What, do you, what do your mates think, then? Or your, what about your big uh, rugby yeah, mates? What I've do they had, think? Do you know what? I've had so oh. much ribbing from all of the guys, with my pink belt especially, yes. in the first week. And, uh, the outfits are special, it's, I'm so aren't excited. You get really excited about what you're going to have to wear. Um, do so, you? Do you? Yeah, yeah. you do. <laughs> Actually, there's actually something I refuse to wear. When I first got in there, because they obviously they don't want what you wear under the trousers and top. They want to make sure it doesn't show. And they gave me Spoil this. Con yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they gave me this contraption, okay, and it's basically a thong, and it's a very small thong. To stop you rising to the occasion. <laughs> to stop you rising to the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> well. You've seen my partner that I skate yeah, with, so yeah. yes, exactly. It had to be very tight. So very small, very so, small. No, song, well, I just felt, I kind of felt, I felt interfered with, really. <laughs> <laughs> and I 
kept trying to pull it out my, my, my behind, and actually I kept realising, no, it's meant to be there. So I think it's something you obviously get used to, but I am now commando, I refuse to wear them. Injuries, because again, it's something we've discussed. Because mm. you know, obviously, obviously it's a, it's, it's quite a, it's quite a dangerous sport. And yeah. you had a reputation as being a bit sort of injury prone, didn't mm. you, in your rugby career? And yeah. yet, I heard yesterday when they were doing that afternoon show, saying that you were actually one of the most improved because you were actually quite fearless when you were on there. Well, I think I think one of the things I'm lucky with in my sport in rugby is you learn to fall on the fleshy parts of your. I knew, I, there's no laughs there. <laughs> you learn to fall on the fleshy parts of your body. So when I would go down, I would immediately. When I hit the eyes, shoulders, backs, bums, absolutely Where's fine. Where's that forwards? Well, I'm bouncing straight back. Right back. <laughs> And, um, and so for me, it was all, it's all fun. I don't mind hitting the ice, but I think for Steve and a few of the other people really didn't like hitting the ice. And, and, and I, I tell you what, it is pretty dangerous. The, the person I have most respect for is, is actually my skating partner, the, the girl professionals. Now, can you imagine they have to being put their faith yeah. in you. six mm. foot in the air, you know, on top of on somebody who, yeah. Yeah, who's not... <laughs> Who is not used to skating? Who's not used to skating? And they, they get spun around like you would not believe. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try oh. one? Oh, no, I do not. I Come on, I try it. No! So, now. Right. No, no, stop. No, no, no. Now, you've got judges here. Keep your legs in. Right, I want you to look Come great. On, I want you... Oh, you attached to that. Now, you're going to get marked. You've got to look graceful. I'm going to have to rush it, Q, in 15 Ready? seconds. <laughs> Well, we are all gone. Wait for Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, Kieran Bracken. <laughs> well, that's it for another Sorry. week from Miss Women, but to be sure to watch next week when we'll be chatting to Ricky Tomlinson, actress and star of drama Bonkers, Linda Bellingham and 80s chart throb, heart throb, chart throb, Tony Hadley. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye! <laughs>